Hey guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Well, who wants to stuff a stocking? Y'all stay tuned. As you guys know, on this channel, we are all about next level. We are all about quality, we are all about presentation. And that extends to our stocking stuffers as well as all of the other wonderful things that we make on the channel. And these stocking stuffers that we're about to make today are so simple, but so cute. They're basic, but they're cute. So here they are. And what they are, are these sweet little two by two boxes that are perfect for holding a few candies or even an engagement ring perfect for holding small trinkets and i will open this one up so that you can see just how it looks and when you open it it looks just like this so it's got a two by two box resting on a two and a quarter by a two and a quarter base and they really are the sweetest cutest little things so this is what we're going to make today so i'm going to set this one to the side and we will get started. So we will need a piece of decorative paper that measures six by six. So what that means is that from one piece of 12 by 12 paper, you can make four little boxes to sit inside of your platform. And I am going to bring in my scoreboard and we are going to score this at one and at two on all four sides and I'm going to take this and just fold and burnish my score marks and this one is really a very quick project such a little cutie guys you fill a cellophane baggie with these sell them at your craft fair who doesn't want cute holders for the stockings I know I do once we've got our scores done, we're going to come back and we're going to go up to the second score mark and we're going to cut straight down and then we'll angle cut in and then we'll come over to the edge and we're gonna cut down on that score mark and we'll angle cut in and then we're going to remove this end piece altogether and then we're also going to remove these pieces but I'm gonna do this with my scissors because my blade is getting a little bit dull so we'll have it looking just like that and I'll do one more with you guys and then I'll do the other two off camera so we're going up to the second score mark and then we're going to angle cut in and we'll angle cut in here and then we are going to just remove this piece all together and I'll come back with my scissors and remove this piece here. And that's how it'll look when you've got half of it done. I'll do the other half and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back and this is what we are left with. And now we can go ahead and just put this together. So I'll bring my glue in and I will glue up my tabs and go ahead and fold my box together. Just like that. And then I'll come back on the inside with my bone folder and get this nice and stuck. And now I'm going to fold this back and go ahead and place my glue. And you may be saying, why is she putting so much into just a small stocking stuffer? Because guys, I am from the school of Martha Stewart. If you're going to do it, you should do it right and do it all the way. Don't half step. It only takes an extra second or two to make something ordinary, extraordinary. And all I'm doing is folding my flaps inward and that's giving me stability on this cute little box. 
and I'm just going to come around and do this. And then one thing that I'm going to do is I am going to take my ink pad, my yucky gold ink pad that you guys see me go to all the time, and then I'm just going to go along my edges and just tamp down any of the white core paper that might be showing. Just like that. And now we can go ahead and make the platform for this. So what I have here is a piece that measures three by seven. And I have two pieces of chipboard that measure two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And then I have my spine piece that measures one by two and a quarter and I am going to place it down with about an eighth of an inch in spacing and then I'll take my other two and a quarter by two and a quarter square and place it down using an eighth of an inch in spacing and then I'm going to come back with my scissors and just remove some of my extra and all I'm going to do is fold over just like this And I'm going to come back with my tape and I am just going to place tape down just like that and guys as some of you may know I launched a new kit I will be releasing the video for that on Saturday August 3rd I'll also link um, the access information if you want to purchase it in the description box. So check that so that you can watch the video of the wonderful, wonderful exclusive that I will be launching on Saturday. It will never be made available to the public on my channel. It is only by exclusive access. So it might be something you want to check out. We are going to fold that over just like that and bring this in just like that. Okay guys, so we have a piece that measures two by five and three quarters and we're going to just lay this down. I'm going to check it first to make sure I can get it even on here because I want it to look nice. So I'll put it like that. And then I'm going to come back with my bone folder and get this nice and smoothed out. And then I'll just do my folding to get my, basically what is a little book folded. And then my box is going to sit inside just like this. And I am going to secure this on the inside using glue. So all I'm going to do is take my wet glue glue my bottom up very well and then I'm going to take some glue and go on the back side of one of the panels and then I'm going to take this put it down make sure I've got it nice and even on both sides slide it over if I need to and then I'll bring the back up and get this stuck down so let me make sure I've got this nice and even. And when I think that I do, I am going to take this and just lay it flat, come back in with my bone folder and get the back stuck. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just sticking down the back and then I'll come back and I will help that bottom to get stuck down. Make sure I get this nice and squared off and then I can close it just like that and you see how well this looks just need to wait on that glue to dry and it is going to be gorgeous so now we've got our little box and it looks just like my other boxes with the exception of I don't have ribbon on this so I have a piece of ribbon 
that I am going to hot glue to the bottom. Let me make sure I've got the words going in the right direction because I am going to tie a bow, which is something that is not my strong point. So I'm gonna put this on here just like this. Get that stuck down. And then I'll bring this over. Bring this one over. Get this tied off into a sweet little bow. And guys, I could literally play with this bow all day and not be satisfied. All right, guys, so I have got my bow tied, and now I'm just going to put just a little bit of heat close to the end of my ribbon because I want it to help to melt those fibers so that my ribbon won't fray. Just like that. And I am going to bring in my other boxes, and you can see just how delightfully cute these are. Aren't they gorgeous? Even something as simple as stocking stuffers can be next level. Like I said, make up a bag of these, sell them at your craft fair. Everybody's always looking for that cute little stocking stuffer to drop down inside of the stocking or a cute little stocking stuffer to leave Secret Santa gifts on the desk at work. These are perfect for that and I think that they are super, super cute. So I hope that you guys have liked this project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. Y'all have a great day. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.